Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and I am very excited to be bringing you more Star Trek Deep Space Nine. We are now into season two. We are watching episode one and episode two of season two of Star Trek Deep Space Nine today and I cannot be more excited. If you haven't seen my reactions to season one, you can check them out. I reacted to every single episode and I really enjoyed season one. So I'm really excited to see what Deep Space Nine brings me in season two. Now I heard that there was a three-parter at the start of season two, the episode one, two, and three are connected. I'm still going to be watching them episode one and two today and then next week you're going to get episode three and four. I'm hoping to get a lot more character development in this season, maybe a few more story arcs in this season before we start getting way to the longer story arcs of that apparently season three, four, five, six, and I think there's seven seasons of this show. Anyways, the, the story arcs that all those seasons have. And before we get in this reaction, let me do the lighting. So eternal light, we said what color? It should be boop. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so today I'm actually going to be going like this orangey color because in the very first episode we have Quark and we have Rom in the thumbnail and I love both of those characters a lot so I'm going this color in honor of Rom and Quark today. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon of uncut and early access reactions to all of my Star Trek Deep Space Nine episodes that come out up to three weeks early, which means I'm already a bunch of episodes deep into Star Trek Deep Space Nine if you're watching this on YouTube. There's also exclusive merch. Thank you so much if you check it out. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, let's dive into episode one today. Hope you enjoy my reaction to Star Trek Deep Space Nine season two. It's kind of cool to say that. Episode one, The Homecoming. We have to talk. It'll have to wait. It can't wait. Of course not. Of course. The investigation of that traitor and... Do you know what I discovered? What, Odo? That I was telling the truth. That's exactly. Right. And that's a lie. Now, if you don't mind, I am needed upstairs. Hold on. Yeah, why were you telling the truth? And yet you still insist on treating me like the enemy? You are the enemy. <laughs> so true. Ask the sub first officer if I'm joking. Now, from now on, you and I are going to be friends. Okay, okay. Cork definitely has another plan. I can see this is going to take time, but eventually, you'll learn to trust me. <laughs> uh, I bet they will actually trust each other. It's giving me major... Legolas and Gimli vibes from Lord of the Rings. So source of great profit. Must I quote you the 76th rule of acquisition? Please quote again. Every once in a while, declare peace. It confuses the hell out of your enemies. <laughs> That's a pretty good rule. Wonder how many rules there are. How are your lobes? Tingling at the side. Hello guys. How are your lobes? <laughs> I'm sorry. Saying a Cardassian gave you a Bajoran earring? He asked me to take it to Bajor. Weird. Someone here who would know what to do with it. Oh, there is. Who? Me. Me. Oh, it's smooth, man. Come in. Surprise. Why is he standing like that? Take one step in here and I promise you it'll be your last. It could be worth it. Oh my god. Aren't you gonna offer me a beverage? Five, four... Can we at least sit down? He's such a menace to society. From a Boslick freighter captain, she got it from a Cardassian. Where? A Cardassia. Why does this mean so much to Kira? Consider it a gift. I love how much cork we're getting at the start of this episode. Do we have the same intro? I hope so. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Yeah, season two, let's go. Same intro and everything. I hope they never change this intro. I love this intro so much. But I heard that they changed the intro around season three or four or something like that. Hey dad, wait up. More Jake and Cisco. You got a minute? For you, absolutely. Oh, that's so nice. Great news. You passed your algebra test. Better than that. No, I failed it. You remember that Bajoran girl I told you about? The one with the beautiful smile. That's right, Lyra. I remember her. Wait, it's probably not the same one, actually. Dad, I already asked her out, and she said yes. She did. That's wonderful. Good job, Jake. Why not? Because you're too young to take a girl to the hollow suites. Oh my god, are you serious? Go through the world. That's boring. Since when? <sighs> Since I started going out with girls. Yeah, so fair. On my own. Really, don't worry about it. <laughs> Who's worried? <laughs> You're worried. The Jake Cisco relationship, the chemistry between them, already stronger. You know what I mean? You really don't want to ask me that. Well, it's too late. I already asked. You don't. <laughs> Why is Cisco in such a good mood? To Cardassia 4 to rescue a Bajoran prisoner of war. 
Oh my days. This earring was recently smuggled off the planet. Do you see this? That is the insignia of Lee Nallis. What if it's a trap for Kira, though? If I thought there was any other way to rescue Lee, but Bajoran ships just don't have the maneuver. I think he's actually dead. I think this is a Cardassian trap. Safely in and out of Cardassian territory. Although why would they want to trap Kira or someone like that, you know? They're unwilling to risk going to war with Cardassia over an earring. Yeah, no, that is very valid. And you think that Lee Nullis is that leader? I know he is. Wow, interesting. He must be some Bajoran. At least Cisco's giving you a chance. When I notice this. <sighs> oh, we got some vandalism. In a circle, huh? It's not that. What gives them the right to mess up our station? The opposite of the Borg. Who believe in They're the cubes. For the These guys are the circles. Species are inferior and should be expelled from the planet. As of now, Constable, there are no low security areas on this station. Oh wow. Okay, Cisco. Odo's gonna like that though. You know what I mean? Good. I thought you enjoyed talking about baseball. Uh, no, I don't. What if I told you that I knew someone who could bring stability to Bajor? Someone. Oh, he's running it by Dax. I'd say give Kara the runabout. Yeah, okay, she knows. The question is, what do they say to us? They swore they released all their Bajoran prisoners. And they didn't. This is such an interesting predicament. It goes wrong, you have another war on your hands. It goes right, Bajor has a leader. A leader. <laughs> a leader. Oh, let's go, Cisco. Do Cisco in this. Season already better than Cisco last season. Every book, Brooks seems to have a lot more confidence in his Cisco. I suppose I have. Everyone's on board. I love this. Oh, O'Brien's coming. And to tell you that Chief O'Brien will be accompanying you on your mission. Dude, Kira and O'Brien together on a mission? That's gonna be sick. Besides, I've seen how the Cardassians treat their prisoners. No one should have to suffer like that. Yes, O'Brien, thank you. Cardassians get their hands on us, we'll be the ones suffering. They'll have to catch us first. I suppose I could use the company. Okay, Kira. You've got the controls, Chief. Right. They haven't really interacted that much, Chief O'Brien and Kira, have they? This will be exciting. We bring back Lee Nallis, we don't come back at all. Understood. I don't know if O'Brien is fully on board with that, because he has a wife and child on the space station. Hold on. We're being scanned. Oh, by who? We're on the edge of their scanner range. That puts us out of visual contact. Okay. Having problems with our phase modulators, we're attempting to correct the problem. Do you require assistance? No. Are you certain? Your power signature is still fluctuating. It's getting suspicious. Come on, O'Brien, do something. Gomorrain is waiting on Cardassia for... Understood. You can put in for repairs after you deliver your cargo. Wow, Kira. Here, that was so smooth. Give her a high five or a fist bump or something. That was good. Fist bump you guys instead. Don't ask me. I just made him up. <laughs> There's no way. She just randomly made up a Cardassian name and it worked. Golmarine, Alamarine, anyone? Flashbacks, war flashbacks. What do you think of that song? As soon as we beam the first two up, all hell is gonna break loose in that camp. Yeah. There's no way of guaranteeing that Lee will be one of the first two. And you can't just leave others. Wow, we're actually getting a camp. Never thought I'd see one. Wow, this is actually so interesting. <laughs> Who are you? Then you know why the prefect doesn't want to be kept waiting, huh? <laughs> What's this all about? Oh, she's pretending to be... Oh, this is a smart plan. Cost me for an appointment. More than you could afford. I love her accent. No sample of the merchandise until the sale's complete, okay? Come here. No way. Oh! oh. Maybe he has a pain kink, though, so maybe he enjoys this as well. Who are you? Major Kira Norris, we've come to get you out of here. Here. Okay. Go back to Bajor. <laughs> Gentlemen, I suggest you keep this discussion for later, okay? Come let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go right now. Oh, no. Wow, this is so interesting for Deep Space Nine. This doesn't even feel like the show from last season anymore, you know what I mean? 
Come on, guys, shoot them, shoot them. I'm not talking, I don't want the Cardassians to shoot the Bajorans. I want the Bajorans to shoot the Cardassians. Some of the others might still make it. Standing by. No, you have to go. You have to go. Take us home, Chief. You can always come back. Although they might not be alive for you to come back and save them. Commander, I need to talk to you. Ah, Major. I'm glad you- Oh, there's a Cardassian on the line. Cardassian High Command has issued a formal apology to the people of Bajor. Oh, wow, interesting. Bajoran prisoners were still being held on Cardassia 4. Sure you didn't. We'll prove once and for all that Cardassia is no longer your enemy. That was not the message I was expecting. I'm as surprised as you are. I don't know, I think there's like a, a second layer to this, you know what I mean? Good. Luckily your wound wasn't as serious as it looked. This guy better be worth it. Amazing. What is? Being here. I love his outfit. If you're hungry, the replimet has some passable Bajoran food. Passable? <laughs> Not a big fan of Bajoran food. Oh wow, he really is a hero. Imagined. Prophets were kind to you today, Major. I did. I feel like there's a huge conspiracy going on here. As a private citizen, I want to thank you for what you've done this day. Oh, there's two sides, the politician and the citizen. I don't think they're going to leave until you say a few words. I agree. Hello, everybody. And that's it. Have a good day. Welcome you home. Believe me, it is a pleasure to be here. Would you mind if he I- seems so tired. I mean, it makes sense why he's tired. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's like fed up with these stories of himself. I feel like maybe he doesn't feel like he's the hero that everyone talks about him as or something. I thought they would have forgotten me by now. It appears you were wrong. No, your stories are legends. I think you'll be pleased for the most part. For the most part. Bajor- There's always issues. But before you go off saving Bajor, I suppose you could use a good night's sleep. It sounds like I'm gonna need it. Yeah, you got a busy schedule ahead of you. I don't know if he's fully up for this though. One for you and six for <laughs> me. That's not that fair. Payday is supposed to be a time of joy. Look how much Quirk has compared to Rob. It's not? Absolutely not. One for you. And seven for me. Seven. Oh my god, Cork. You menace. To dream of an equal share of profits. Dream on. I want Rom to really stand up to Cork eventually, you know? And seven from me. What is it now? Oh my god. What is happening to Cork? Their goal is to rid Bajor of all non Bajorans. Really? Just cleanse Bajor? But the truth is, the Circle is more organized than the government. Well, a government better get- That makes sense, actually. How do I look? As... handsome as ever. Yeah, Cork, as handsome as ever. Really? Huh. <laughs> he doesn't hear sarcasm, he just hears it and goes, It's the truth! <laughs> she was supposed to be. She couldn't make it. Oh, no. She said her father wouldn't let her go out with me. Why not? Because I'm not a Bajoran. Oh, 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 extremist circle. I'm sorry you've become a victim of them. You don't deserve it. Nobody does. No. Jake especially doesn't deserve it, man. He's so sweet. Ship. I was hoping you would know what to do with him. Ah, uh, I knew it was going to be him. He doesn't want to lead. Went sprawling on my back down to the edge of the lake just as a huge Cardassian emerged from the water. Oh, wow. Nearby rock that I realized that I was still holding my own phaser and I shot him. His body fell on top of me. And oh, wow. But they had already convinced themselves that I had killed Zarel in some kind of a savage struggle. Really? Which is what they insisted on telling every Bajoran that we met. Lifts the hopes of other Bajorans, though. Grew more and more unbelievable. Yet the people insisted on believing them. My reputation. They needed something to believe in. To my reputation all of these years. And now. It is enough. Wow, okay. But Bajor doesn't need a man. He needs a symbol. Yeah, and you're the symbol. But it's all based on a lie. No, it's based on a legend. Yeah. And legends are as powerful as any truth. That's so true. Major? 
Oh, hello there. They felt any existing title was inadequate, so they created a new one for me. Really? That's pretty epic. Liaison officer to Deep Space Nine. I already have a liaison officer. Yeah. Major Kira is no longer assigned to this post. What? She's been recalled to Bajor. What? No. No. Someone give that old man a slap. Ah, oh, to be continued, guys. A lot of cool setup in this episode. And that was my reaction to Star Trek Deep Space Nine, episode one of season two, The Homecoming. And that episode was a really nice introduction into Deep Space Nine season two, and also a really interesting look at what is to come with this season. It felt a little different than season one, which was really nice. It felt like the characters were much more, or I guess the actors were much more in tune with the characters. Like it felt like Cisco, for example, he had a lot of screen presence in season one, don't get me wrong, but it felt like Avery Brooks was a little bit more comfortable with playing Cisco, at least in this episode, and I'm hoping that translates to the whole season as well. He felt a little bit more stable with his lines, he felt like his screen presence was a little bit more commanding, but he was also not afraid to be a little bit less serious. I know in season one he had like goofy moments at times, he had like kind of non serious captain or command, he's a commander, commander moments at times but in this episode even in like the serious moments he wasn't afraid to be a little bit light and so it kind of felt like a little bit of a character shift but I really liked it because he felt a lot more humane instead of robotic there were times in season one where I felt like Cisco as awesome as he was I loved Cisco in season one he did feel like a little bit of a robot at times because he was so serious sometimes but in this episode he felt very human I'm hoping that translate to the rest of season season two I don't know there was just something a little different about him same with Kira and O'Brien it just like felt every, everyone felt like they were a little bit more accustomed to the characters accustomed to Deep Space Nine and it felt like a really nice progression and step up from season one already I'm seeing that in this episode and I'm hoping that's not just because this is the first episode of this season I'm hoping this translates to the rest of the season and beyond it also just felt like the budget for this season is going to be a little bit higher because we got this off-world stuff with Cardassia 4 and the, the the prison camp and you know the battle that happened there and stuff which was all super awesome it's something that I never thought I would see in Star Trek 2 Space Nine of these prison camps but we got to see one and it was off-world it was in this quarry somewhere it just felt like there was a little bit more budget added to this season with that sequence alone I know it was just filmed on location and stuff but we don't go out of deep space nine that much you know we usually stay on the station so whenever we go off the station it's really cool and we were off the station for quite a bit at the start of this episode so that was really awesome i also felt like the directing was really good in this episode i don't know if i was just like trying to find things that i've really liked about this episode because i'm on a new season and i'm really excited for the new season but i noticed the directing a few times in this episode which i didn't notice the directing a lot in season one there were definitely times where i did but i didn't notice it a lot and already in this first episode i noticed the directing there are some really good shots, some really good rack focuses. There were some really good moments where like Lee, for example, is up in front of the camera and Cisco is talking, but he's blurry behind the camera. But Cisco, even though what Cisco's saying is really important, it's really the expression on Lee's face that we want to see as the audience. And so the camera does a really good job to show that. And I really enjoyed that as well. And yeah, this episode lays the groundwork. I don't know. I, I Like I said at the start of this review, or not the start of this review, the start of this video, I'm pretty sure episodes one, two, and three are like a connected trilogy so I'll it'll be really interesting for things like the circle if the circle is just like this underlying arc that goes into this trilogy or if the circle goes beyond these first three episodes and kind of perpetuates season two and season three and stuff like that because that would be really interesting there's been a lot of groundwork laid in th this first episode alone for either these next three episodes or for the season we have the circle we have Lee who is this very reluctant leader he is not even really a leader I guess he's a leader now in some in some aspects but he's more of a legend he's a very reluctant legend you know we have Kira now who's going to be off world we have Cardassia who apologized but there has to be something else going on there and then we have that other Bajoran guy like the balder looking old guy who said Kira is going to be off the station now you you know we have him in play like there has to be something up with him as well I just feel like there's a lot more to the story than the first episode is letting on like the first episodes teasing us a little bit it's laying down some threads and
and these next two episodes if it is a trilogy these next two episodes are going to be expanding these threads and wrapping up the threads but the circle is the thing i'm the most interested in because we basically just got teased about them the next episode is called the circle so that's really interesting but i kind of hope that they stay for the rest of the season because i their their whole concept of only having bajorans on bajor is a really interesting concept and one that i think can be explored in great great detail so anyways let's get into episode two now i really enjoyed episode one of season two and i'm excited to see what episode two brings so i hope you enjoy my reaction to episode two of star trek deep space nine season two the circle frankly commander i'm surprised at your reaction no i'm angry as well she's been invaluable in establishing this command post and now she's been dismissed without anyone consulting me and i don't appreciate yes cisco thank you for standing up to her or for her after all She's the one who brought Lee Nellis back to us. Well, then, that's a different matter. Yep. I'm glad you... Better be a promotion, punk. May I assume you're satisfied with the assignment of Lee to fill your vacant post? I thought you'd want Lee to stay in the capital to strengthen the provision of government. Yeah. But two days ago, one of my fellow ministers was attacked and beaten. Wow. Jewel's greatest hero to you. Could you have a better liaison officer than Lee now? Yeah, Kira's better. Kira is better. Is something wrong? I really think you ought to come down, Dad. So what's happening? Did they get graffitied? What's the problem? Look. Oh, they got graffitied. Star Trek Deep Space no. Yeah, let's go. The circle. Exactly. Because it doesn't sound like the Kira Norris who has made a career out of breaking the rules. Yeah. It's always mattered more. And I'm sorry to say you're in slim company. I love that Odo is mad at her. Best for the station. You haven't even gone to him. Well, what do you want me to do, Odo? Fight for what you want. Yes. What's so funny? I thought you did fairly well once I smoothed your rough edge. Oh, wow, really? I thought I should return this epitelic lotion. No, if you like it. Oh, it's wonderful. Well, then keep it. How can you? Aww. Any idea where you'll be stationed? Come in. Not yet. They is everyone here? Taken some Guys, everyone is here. That's rather dull. I beg your pardon? Dull is a polite word for it. Doctor, if you were Kira, wouldn't you- Wait, this is so awesome. All four of these people in the same room? Any reason yet? Did they give you any alternative? I do care. No, they haven't. No, they didn't. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. By all means, come on in. She's done well. Yes, she there's more people. It's just, don't worry, chief. It's all being said. I have a good deal more to say. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Major, it's it's been a pleasure serving with you. Come in. Will someone please explain this? Oh my God, there's no way Quark's here too. <laughs> For you, I would. Wait, this is so awesome. As I was saying, Major, you'd be surprised how often that works with women. <laughs> is this a joke? Did you plan this? Nobody could have planned this. Oh. Another person is Cisco, please. Vedic Burial. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, please. I love this guy. These are my. Friends. These are my friends. Ah, she said the F word. It almost seems there are more weapons on the street now than during the occupation. Really? It can help, but the spirit gets a little bruised. Okay. Thank you. I would take him up. It's such a nice place with that garden that he's been making and stuff. I would stay there forever. Kira's not leaving, right? She's not leaving the show. Feels like she is leaving the show. I just want you to know that uh, there's... Even his outfit is bland. It's just gray. Have a red, nice red and pink outfit like her. Anything you need from me, I will try my best to do. That's good. But I can never replace Major Kira. No one could. Oh, why is this episode so sad and sweet? Request permission to disembark. I'm going to get you back, Major. Yes! Three. Bye, Kira. Oh, I got chills, man. What the heck? <laughs> Kira is not happy doing this. I'm sure I could destroy your entire arboretum. <laughs> well, perhaps you'd rather try your hand at woodcrafts. I would love to try some woodcrafts. No artistic skills. I, I was a worst finger painter at the four-year-old level. My How can you be bad at finger painting? <laughs> oh, you don't know me. I'm beginning to. I, this guy is so cool. I like this guy. 
See what I'm getting at with the budget from last episode with the quarry and stuff like that in the prison camp? It seems like we're having a lot more sets off of the space station. What's that beauty of a box? It's one of the... Whoa, yeah, it's one of those things from Emissary. Whoa. Dax. Oh, hello, Dax. To them That's a nice outfit. <laughs> oh my god, it's her. Blasphemy. <gasps> oh my days. He's naked too. You do. Uh He looks like a Pokemon card. <laughs> Bayshore, the provisional government, the Federation being here, all of it. We gotta leave. Why is it over? I happen to know they have enough weapons and explosives and supplies to support an army. Cork would know that. Even have a military, the botanic DNA traders. Well, they're not delivering flowers these days. I know, Odo. Yeah. If Quark's scared, you have a good reason to be scared. They're being sent to on Bajor. No, not exactly. Find out. Are you out of your mind? Yes, work together, work together. Look, I hate to do this, but I guess I'll have to. That's not fair. I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> I want you to find out where the weapons are going on Bajor. Meanwhile... Quark is a deputy, that's so fun. Deputy Quark. From you and me, a team. That's right. <laughs> I have always wanted this. Unless you want to reveal the identities of the people you've been talking to. You know I can't do that. Well then, there you go. I'm a deputy. He's a deputy! Oh, I'm so excited. She's like, I had a vision where we were naked and about to make out. The last time I encountered the third orb, you were part of my vision. Oh. We were naked. I was just wondering if I was part of yours. No. No, you weren't. Such a liar, Kira. Gunfire. Really? What a pleasure to come upon oh my God. such a flowing... How are you not in jail? I guess the... Yeah, okay, I guess it makes sense why she's not in jail. Good for you, Vedic Baraya. After working so hard, you deserve a little recreation. Vedic Wynn is more like a Vedic loser, if you know what I mean. Nothing more, nothing less. How long will you be with us, Major? I hate that they argue in the politest way possible. Free to stay as many days as you like, even a week if necessary. Does she just want to push Vedic Win off of that bridge? Move them to join the 14th column south of the city. See, this is interesting. We're getting like all of this stuff. See what I'm talking about? Bigger budget. We're getting these types of sets. Every time there is a potential confrontation, the military withdraws to a safer position. Why? We have intelligence that the Circle is being armed by the Kasari. The Kasari? I hadn't heard that. We've been well, your intelligence sucks. I understand she hasn't been reassigned yet. It would mean a great deal to me to get her back. You told me about the Kasari before you asked the favor regarding Kira. Yeah. You could have tried to trade that information for the favor. No. I wouldn't do that. He gave it willingly. I'll remember that about you. Ah, uh, honorable man, honorable Cisco. Better be able to help me. I have been delayed for six hours. Six hours is a long time. Sorry, government will lodge a formal pro. Oh, he's a Krasari. Okay. That's what I was told a few hours ago. I would be mad if I was him too. Prepare for immediate departure. Oh my god, you slick man. Or should I say, you slick rat. Daydreaming. I think I remember doing that a long, long time ago. Should give it another shot. Or back to DS9. Are you still interested? Please, Kira. That distance is getting closer. The circle is for real, Major. They've been armed for a coup, and I'm not at all. Wow. I guess I'd better get back. Commander, me too. Yes, yes. Ah, let's go. Oh, oh my God, you stupid circles. The 
ship looks like a giant pizza wedge. I think you'll find it. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're working with the Cardassian. I knew there is something more with this guy. Oh my god. Yes, anymore. We have been doormats to the Cardassians and now the Federation. You're not doormats to the Federation. And architecture to countless planets. We don't deserve to be victims. If you want to change the government, Minister Jaro, you vote to change it. Yeah. Speak up from behind it with a dagger. We'll discuss po Yeah, when would you ever trust a government that does that, you know? What will the Federation do, Major? What will Cisco do? You know him better than any Bajoran. The Federation will not support the Circle, guys. Come on. Like how to encourage people to talk. Let's go. No way you're gonna torture. Not for the 12 hours. Who needs Odo? When you got his number one deputy. Yeah, Deputy Quark. No, this is exactly the time. I think I know where you can find Kira. Quark, 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 Quark. I need to bring to your attention, Commander. Quark. I managed to find- Cisco does not care. In the labyrinths beneath the Parikian Peninsula. Really? Doctor, Lieutenant, you're with me. Mr. O'Brien, you'll be our pilot. Con okay. I don't know what it means to be a Navark, but I can fight in the trenches and I take orders well. Yeah, okay. That's what he knows. What if Lee dies, though? He he'll die and become an even bigger legend, probably. Oh, baby, here we go. C-class starship. Why the hell? Sounds like Kira's doing a jumping jack. Two officers that we don't know, will they die? Maybe. Oh, one's dead. Come on, Bashir, come on, Bashir. Oh my god. Oh, he's also dead. What did I say? They're red shirts. Without the red shirts. Oh! Not Bashir. Oh, okay. Okay, they're out. They're out. Did you see Kira's face? Time for this. Imagine trying to save your people by torturing your own people. Soon Jara will move quickly now that we've got- It's a weird, backward way of thinking, don't you think? Courtesy of a Cardassian weapon. The circle's being supplied by the Cardassians. No way, yeah, yeah, yeah. They think they've been buying from Krasari traders. I don't understand. Why would the Cardassians want to help? The Cardassians want Bajor to s destroy themselves. They're just using Jaro. Once the Federation is forced to leave, the Cardassians come back. Yes. The Chamber of Ministers on subspace. I can't do it, Benjamin. All frequencies to Bajor are jammed. We lost- What? Get me Admiral Jakote at Starfleet Command. Guys, this this whole thing is coming together. I bet you ugly win are working with him. I know the future. It belongs to me. I don't need your interpretation. Burn him with that candle. My assembly approaches the selection of a new Kai. I fear my voice is rarely heard. Mm. Yeah, because you're crazy, man. Then let them bless my ascension. Tell the people the prophets are with me. This guy's a pretty good villain. I need more than just prestige, as I know that too. The people need leadership to return to the old values. Look how corrupt this is. Do everything in my power to see that you are. Wow. The prophets are smiling on you today, minister. Wow, this is so corrupt. They're just pretending. They're just saying the prophets are with them and stuff, but they're not actually. Jaro has the military, communications have been cut off, and assault vessels are on the way here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. We'll be giving Bajor and the wormhole back to them. Damn, it's a hell of a turn. Yeah. The Cardassians might involve themselves in other people's civil wars, but we don't. Oh my god. The directive applies, Ben. Oh my god, so they can't do anything. Then there's no other choice but to evacuate. We'll have to worry about the long-term political implications down the road. They're gonna enslave Bajor all over again. Cisco, don't take any orders. Fleet instruments, material. In fact, all Federation property of any kind. Really? Then I guess some of us won't quite be done by the time they get here. Mmm. 
What? I was not ready for the episode to be over. I thought we were only halfway through it or something. Ah! Uh, <coughs> now I have to wait. <coughs> now I have to wait till next week. Ah! Man, I just want to watch the next episode now, but I can't. I can't. I have school. I have school. Ah! That was a good cliffhanger. I'm so excited for next week. And that was my reaction to The Circle, episode two of season two of Star Trek Deep Space Nine and the second episode in this potential trilogy. I'm assuming it's a trilogy because it's The Homecoming, The Circle, and then The Siege. The Siege sounds so cool, by the way. But then episode four is just Invasive Procedures, so it doesn't have the at the front, which makes me think it's just a trilogy, and then we get into the rest of the season. But guys, that cliffhanger, oh, I'm so pumped from that cliffhanger. And first of all, I didn't think the episode was going to be over. I thought we still, we were only halfway through the episode or something. That episode flew by. I was enjoying it so much. There's so much happening. There is more setup. There is some payoffs, and then the cliffhanger at the end. Well, then some of us just won't be finished when they arrive, or whatever Cisco says, implying that there's gonna be a flippin' siege on something according to the next episodes, a siege on Deep Space Nine. You know, there's gonna be a, a war, an uprising, a coup down on Bajor. You know, the Cardassians are supplying weapons to this circle group in order for the Federation to leave so then they can come back without any resistance and take control of Bajor all over again. It's just all going down. You know, the guy, the old guy, still forget his name for some reason with the gray hair, you know, who's in in it with win in it to win it if you know what i mean who's in it with win and he's gonna try and lead he's the leader of the circle i knew there was something up with him in the first episode i knew he was going to be more important than than the first episode said he was and boom he is the leader of the circle which is super interesting the circle is cool kira got flipping tortured in this episode but let's just take a second from all of this exciting stuff and talk about the very start of this episode i wanted to talk about this i'm glad i didn't forget about it but the very start of this episode was one of my favorite parts of all of Star Trek Deep Space Nine so far. Unfortunately, Cisco wasn't there, but every other cast member, basically every other cast member, major cast member, was in the room together. We had Kira and Odo, then we had Kira, Odo, Dax, then we had Kira, Odo, Dax, Bashir, and then Kira, Odo, Dax, Bashir, and Quark. No, O'Brien, and then Kira, Odo, Dax, Bashir, O'Brien, and Quark. And then we had, you know, Lee walk into the... No, no, then we had uh, What's-His-Face, you know... The good, the good, the good Bajoran spiritual guy, I forget his name, like Vax or something like that, Vex or something like that. Anyways, he walked in later. But for a brief moment, we had pretty much every important adult Deep Space Nine member besides Cisco in a room together. And for the life of me, I cannot remember a time where every single one of those characters interacted together. I don't think it happened in season one. I think every character interacted with each other separately and individually, or maybe in groups of three, groups of four, maybe but never as just a whole group with like all, it was like seven people, six people, seven people just in the same room. And I loved that they talked over each other. The conversation was really funny, how Kira was answering like three people at once and then other people were trying to figure out what other people were saying, but then they were also talking to Kira and also talking to other people and the lines just kept overlapping with each other. And, and, and I just loved that moment. That was probably one of my favorite moments in the show so far. It was just so wholesome to see all the characters together. Together. It was so much fun to see all the characters together and I'm really hoping that we get to see more scenes like that where we have big groups of all of our main cast members together in a room and just talking because I, I don't know I found that to be so nice and it was very I don't know I was gonna say refreshing almost to see just all of these characters just getting along with each other even when Quark comes in everyone's like ah Quark you know what I mean they like all hate him but at the same time they all really like Quark it's kind of like me like he's so mischievous he's so menacing he's not menacing you know I'm not like scared of Quark or anything but you know he's a little mischievous little rat devil over here but at the same time he's amazing and I love Quark and I have Quark's bar as a shirt because I love Quark so much you know what Ferengi for <laughs> Ferengi for life but yeah besides that besides the start of this episode I mean I thought this episode was fantastic it went by so fast for me it was definitely one of my favorites. It was a great middle ground. Homecoming, the homecoming, I guess the first episode was a great setup. This was a great middle ground. We got some reveals, but then we also got a lot more setup as well. And now we are going to get the third act next week, which is really exciting. Also, this episode again confirmed my theory that the first season had less of a budget than the second season. This season feels like it has a lot more 
budget or at least a little bit more budget to work with in terms of we're going off I don't know if it's going to stay for the rest of the season I think maybe it's just like a three part episode arc and they're just trying to go hard with it so people get invested in Deep Space Nine season two and stuff maybe that's the case or maybe it's going to be a little bit it's going to look a bigger budget throughout the rest of the season obviously I'll have to see and we'll have to see but for the most part right now it feels like we're getting a lot bigger budget because yes we are only going from Deep Space Nine I mean in, in the first episode we went from Deep Space Nine to Cardassia 4 and we went to the prison camp which was awesome but in this episode as well we're going from Deep Space Nine and we're going to Bajor a lot of the times you know we're sitting on the planet we're in that forest ar arbitrium whatever you want to call it that's not even a word I feel but you know the word I was trying to say there and then we're going to like that room with the big screen where the provisional government general or whatever the leader of the provisional government is like looking over the map of the city and seeing where the coups are happening and stuff like that you know we're going to all these different locations we have the the place with the orb and you know we're going to all these different locations and they have these sets and it's just it feels a little bit more expansive than season one is what I'm trying to get at and that really excites me because it means that you can tell a lot more stories with a little bit bigger budget and with this expansiveness that the show so far is trying to show that it is capable of. I also really liked the implications of the corrupt religion in this episode at the very end how how Wynne is basically like well the guy is talking to Wynne and he's basically saying that she needs to say publicly that the prophets are with him even though you know she didn't get she didn't get any like actual prophecy about this or anything probably he she's doing it for her own personal advantage and so she's kind of manipulating her religious power and her religious status here to give him and her what she wants i i find that really fascinating and really interesting i'm excited to see how that evolves in this season and the next episode as well but yeah really excited really excited for the next episode for the finale of this three-part trilogy this three-part opening episodes great introduction to season two by the way i'm really really excited for season two and yeah that's going to be it for my review thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful beautiful amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel it really does mean a lot remember you can support me on patreon if you would like and that you get episodes early access and uncut reactions up to three weeks early which means on patreon if you're watching this on youtube i'm episode three four five six seven eight i will have watched all of those episodes and you can watch my reactions to them on patreon right now which means you can watch the siege right now if you would like which is very exciting i probably really enjoyed it and pumped my fist in the air a couple times anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time for my next Star Trek reactions, which will be episode three and four of season two, The Siege and Invasive Procedures. See you then.